right, so uh, just so everybody knows, this is some footage that uh, is actually a bit older. This is from uh, earlier in May. But uh, you know what? Uh, we, we thought we lost the footage on a kind of a bad card. And uh, it turns out we were able to salvage it, so I thought we'd put it in this next video. I know turkeys are out of season right now, but I, I assure you, this was harvested within, well within the legal timeline. All right, just harvested a nice turkey this spring, and I am excited. Nothing to really write home about, but he's got a nice little beard on him. Maybe a three-year-old. Got a big head on him. Another one for the wall. Cleaning these guys up is a bit of a mess. I highly recommend if you're, you know, don't want to have feathers absolutely everywhere, get in a bucket in a bag. It will make your life a lot easier. Some people, some people want to save the skin. I mean, I guess it's it can be worth it to some extent, but. It's a lot of trouble for something that ultimately, in my opinion, isn't worth it. He will go up on the tree. So I need to fill up these three buckets. I just used the water from the pipe that comes from the water ditch that we were working on a couple of videos ago. Um, that water is fresh and clean enough for me. So I fill up these three tubs. First one gets the laundry detergent, second one is for a nice rinse, and third one is for the final rinse. Um, and usually I can do maybe two loads before I dump the water out and put clean water in. Okay. Here's my branch basics. This is like called an oxygen boost. It's just like a dry detergent. I'm using these silly gloves because the water is so cold and because usually laundry day is like a long day. So this makes it a lot better. So usually work this load, bring them out. I don't wring it out too well because it doesn't need to be dry. It's going to the next step. I just want to kind of wring out the yucky water before putting it in the clean water. So, um, and then 
and then from this to there, same thing. When I get to this tub, it's the last tub, and so I wring it out really well so that doesn't take so long to dry on the line. We are eventually going to get a washer and dryer, but I just kind of like, I grew up reading Laura Ingalls Wilder books, and I just kind of like the, um, like I know when they're um, going from one state to the next state, uh, and they're in the prairie, and Ma is doing the laundry, and just laying the laundry out on the fresh grass to dry. I just love that, so I don't mind doing this for a little bit. I try and do this once a week. This is a pretty big load because we've had some like crazy weather. It's been, we've been getting these random storms during the middle of the day. And so I haven't wanted to put laundry out there, afraid it would blow away or it would get rainy. Um, I have to do it all over again. So I've just been doing like little stuff um, in the house and then having it dry either on the porch or by the fire if it's going um but i haven't done the big load for a while so i'm glad that it's finally sunny and windy and this stuff will dry in no time <laughs> I don't use hot water at all. It's all just cold water from the creek. I never, when I did have a washing machine and dryer, I never washed my clothes in hot water anyways because I was cold, so it's not a big deal to me. And then the air dryer on the line, so I don't really need a dryer. And it smells nice and fresh anyways, coming off the line from the sun and the breeze. I just like it this way. Okay, that's all done out of this tub. Then basically do the same thing, except they're a lot cleaner in this tub. I kind of have to unravel them a little bit. That's okay. Rinse them out really good. Get all the last of the detergent out. I've always wanted to live like this. We're, we're working for ourselves, we're not working for anybody else. I'm doing laundry for me and my husband. I'm doing the baby. And Craig right now is working on the chicken coop over there. He's putting the siding on. It's just, we wake up in the mornings and it's all fresh and dewy outside. And we let the chickens out now that we've got them. Let the chickens out, make breakfast. Get to our chores of the day. Look what Craig is doing. He's putting the siding on our chicken coop. It looks so great, Craig. So he set it up in this little nook right here so we can keep an eye on it. Right now it just got a whole lot easier because basically it's just at a one inch pitch at each at each one so i just need to go one inch bigger every single time i cut nice. so it's uh, going a lot smoother than i thought it would be and i just do one inch longer i put it all the way to the top and it winds up perfectly level at the bottom he built this um chicken ladder for them last night they went in there all by themselves all four of them i didn't have to catch a single chicken nope we did not go over to the clothesline 
it's a super windy day so these things are gonna dry in no time which is gonna be really nice so I can get all the laundry done in one day Alrighty. there's one load done I got maybe two more left we got a trout in the upper pond, which really can only mean one thing. He went down the most epic water slide of his entire life. So that means that that trout swam from the creek all the way the long distance down this hand dug ditch made a hard left turn down into here and then of all of a sudden we was like whoa no way and he just went flying flying all crazy fast down this thing and then he was like oh man oh man where am i going where am i going oh yeah underground came up again Went around all of this crazy stuff. Came down the line. Passed all the laundry. Got confused on all the other pipes and then came out this end. Went all the way back around and shot out like a cannon. Straight into here and then flopped his way down there and then popped. It was epic. All right, we're gonna see if we can get our new pet fish that came down the chute, there's three of them now, to grab this little baby grasshopper. So let's see. <laughs> he got it! Nice! The chicken coop is finished! Bam. Look at how be beautiful this is! Craig, you did an amazing job. Well, you designed it. I just kind of slapped it together. Yeah, but you, I mean, look at that. It's so beautiful. Oh, I like it. I think it came out pretty nice. It did. But yeah, I was able to keep the lock and all that stuff. I just had to, well, pretty simple. Got one of these guys. And... Okay, now everybody knows how to get into our chicken coop. And with these along the sides, it'll be harder for something to get in there and try to get at it. I'm thinking about maybe putting some of these guys along there instead of the boards. Maybe kind of seal it up a little more to keep something from reaching under like that. That makes sense. For the most part, I think it wound up pretty good. I didn't do much to the back side of it just because, you know, not too many people are going to see it, you know, for the most part. And, you know, it would make it hard to fill this in because it would keep it keep us from opening that. And I really like the two-tone board look. So I think we're just going to stick with it how it is. I think it looks nice. Yeah. I do love that there is three different types of tin roof on there. And it is so windy today. Yeah. Very windy. So anyway, so anyway, we did good today. I think uh, I think we'll do better tomorrow. I did all the laundry today. You finished the chicken coop. Yes. We did really. <gasps> and we made a new friend. Okay. Our turkey friend has been coming around more and more. There she is right there. But anyway. anyways, what are we gonna do tomorrow? Tomorrow we're gonna try to accomplish at least some of the garden. <laughs> we keep saying we're gonna do the garden tomorrow. I would really like to at least get the fencing up. We really need to do the garden. The chicken coop took precedent. We needed them to be able to stay in here. and We need them to be safe. I didn't want to just leave that as a half done chore, but uh, anyways, did good today. I'm gonna do better tomorrow. It'll be better tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. Craig, will you help me with the... The one with the branching decision tree? Craig. I actually designed that chart. 
Don't, don't be jealous of Deb. Anyway, um, the question, <laughs> what is the best way to decide the important information?